Happy holidays everyone and welcome to Studio de Sol. My name is Lina and today's video is going to be another episode about polymer clay. And today I want to show you a few new techniques how you can create an interesting patterns using polymer clay. So let's get started. If you want to support me and my channel, don't forget to hit red button to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment down below and let's keep going. Today I want to show you two different techniques how you can create interesting and unique pattern. For the first one, you will need extruder and the square nozzle disc. I also picked the color scheme with like yellow, white and uh, blue colors. I'm preparing and warming up the clay. After that, I'm flattening it on like a minimum thickness. For me, it's the one or two on my pasta machine. And after that, I'm taking the cutter in a size or a little bit smaller in a size than my extruder and start cutting out little circles. After I made enough of those circles, I started attaching them together and mixing the colors a little bit. I'm trying to do white color, then I'm adding like a shimmery white, after that yellow, another shade of the yellow. In the end, you're gonna get a few cane looking pieces. And now we're gonna upload it into the extruder. So we got our first piece out of the extruder. And now I'm slicing it into equal pieces. As you can see, each cut on that piece is gonna have a unique and different pattern. And I'm doing the same thing with the two more of the canes. So I had 16 equal size pieces and now I'm attaching them and they're gonna look like a little square shape. I'm making sure that they all attached really good to each other. I start slicing it into the equal pieces. In the end, I had six equal size pieces. When I attach them together, I start rolling them a little bit, but not too much, so I won't mess up my pattern. Then I'm making a desirable thickness of the clay, and using my cutters, I'm just gonna cut out the shapes for the earrings but you can do anything you want with that pattern and use it for any designs you want to create. After that, I'm just sending my pieces to bake. And for the second technique, I pick another color scheme, which is gonna be in the uh, olive-ish colors and pinks. What we're gonna do now is create the gradient. And for that, I'm taking all of my colored pieces, 
making them into the square shape and adding on the white clay. So as you can see, I created like little squares, equal sizes of green and white clay. Now I'm slicing them diagonally and attaching the cut sizes to each other. And do the same thing with all four pieces. And when it's all ready, I'm flattening them a little bit so they can easily go into the pasta machine. If you don't have a pasta machine, you can just keep rolling with your rolling pin. So you see here, I'm taking my piece vertically so I still have this cut in between white and green color on a diagonal. Diagonal? Diagonal? And I'm loading this into my pasta machine and run it on like third or second level of thickness. I'm taking it out and bending this in half. Every time you're gonna upload your piece into pasta machine and bend it, that's what's gonna create a gradient effect. The colors in the middle is gonna mix, so in our case it's gonna be white and green and it's gonna create a lighter shade. And I do the same thing with four other pieces. After we created our gradient, now I'm making my piece into a really thin stripe and we're gonna save up the gradient. So you folding the piece and then again I'm using my pasta machine and just flattening it on a minimum on like level one on pasta machine. So now I have four stripes and what I'm doing now is folding them and just like little by little folding it back and forth we're gonna shrink the size of the stripe All right, when all of the four pieces are folded, now we can start shrinking them even more. So for that, like I'm gently pushing like the colors into like a square shape and I'm making them more wide than long. I hope it makes sense. And here I'm again using my extruder. I uploaded white clay in it. And for the nozzle disc, I'm using like half of the sphere. And if you put like two of those spheres together, it's gonna create a perfect circle and that's what we need. What I'm doing next, I'm taking the pieces that I made as a gradient piece and also taking just a plain colors as a pink, a lighter pink, green and lighter green. All of them in a kind of like stripe shape and all of them are the same thickness. And what I'm doing now, I start applying layers on top of our half spheres. For that, I'm adjusting the length and the width of the piece, then covering up the half of the sphere, attaching it really well, and cutting up the axis. In total, we're gonna have four layers on each half of the sphere, and one half of the sphere is gonna be in the green color, and another half of the sphere is gonna be in the pink.
when two pieces are ready I start attaching them together and making sure that those layers kind of make it into one then I decided to change the shape of it but if you would if you want you just can leave it like in a circle and create any desirable designs with it but I decided to make it into a square lump shape for that I'm just gently pushing each side and creating an angle and then when I'm happy with my results I start slicing the cane this is how the patterns looks like on the inside now I am attaching them all together create like a one whole piece rolling them a little bit it's so hard like not to mess up the design because you need to make sure that all the pieces are together but in the same time you need to press really hard and that sometimes might affect the pattern When my piece is flat enough I just take in my cutters again the shape I want and cutting out the pieces and baking them when my pieces are baked I'm just sending them adding some findings and here's my final results I wanted to show you really close so I'm using my micro lens and so you can see the actual pattern and how the texture of the clay is different but when you mix in it it really creates interesting patterns and I really love the first design and also this mixing in between the clay textures And here are the earrings I made using second technique. And this is it for today guys. Share with me in the comments below which technique you like the most and what pattern you like the most. Also, if you follow in any of my tutorials, don't forget to mention me. Here is my social media. Thank you so much for watching and we see each other in the next video.